quickly over it. Strength is how much damage you do, how your chances of hitting someone. Uh, I believe it also makes you slightly uh, resistant to damage, or it makes you dodge a bit more or something. Um, not, it's not too much anyway. Dexterity does the same thing, kind of. Uh, makes you harder to hit. It does extra damage with daggers and bows. So that kind of makes sense. Kind of traditional, but it works. Uh, and yeah, dexterity is for rogues. While well, strength is mainly for warriors. Um, willpower, well... Uh, it, basically, you got, a, you got stamina or mana, depending on your class that you uh, pick. Which is... Uh, the three starter classes are warrior, rogue, and a mage. Again, fairly standard, but they elaborate on that later on. Uh, willpower gives you more of that bar, be it stamina or uh, mana. It also makes sure that uh, potions will do more. No, actually, I'm lying, because the magic does that. So yeah, you can get magic stat as a warrior or rogue. Doesn't really do that much, but you can if you want to. You generally, I guess you could spend a couple of points in there. Doesn't really matter too much, I guess. Uh, cunning determines how well the character learns and reasons. Yeah, cunning you need for uh, to be able to uh, persuade characters. So it's a good skill to have, good skill or good stat to have. Uh, rogues also gain bonus damage from it, and uh, yeah, it's mainly for rogues. And uh, some stats, as uh, I just said, like uh, persuasion, coercion, all that. Uh, constitution, yeah, you're more resilient and you get more health. So, we're a warrior, so let's uh, go for strength and constitution. And here are some of the skills. Here's coercion, which uh, is a very, very handy skill, I must say. And yeah, basically you've got coercion to uh, persuade characters. You can steal if you want to, which apparently I do have as a warrior. I get the feeling I didn't pick a warrior now. Huh. Oh, well, maybe I'm just remembering it wrong, but there's also trap making. I, to be honest, I've never used a trap and I've... Uh, basically played through the game one and a half times now on two characters then obviously so I've never used one so maybe it's really good but not to me not in my playstyle there's also survival which again I've not really used it gives you some minor bonuses to uh, resistance of nature and physical damage it also uh, yeah allows you to detect creatures which really doesn't matter uh, there's also herbalism, which will make you, uh, yeah, allows you to make potions, which is really good. On the other side of that, there's poison making, which is the other side of alchemy, which allows you to make poison, grenades, uh, bottles that you throw that will do s damage on enemies, or special coating for your weapons, that kind of thing. And there's combat training, which, well, it improves everything you do in combat just a little it'll also allow you to uh, get better skills uh, which we'll see and obviously we want that you really really want that skill so now we get on to the actual skills and I did actually pick warrior so yeah uh, yeah the game basically divides everything up into categories so we've got general general warrior skills uh, dual wielding skills, which are really awesome. Uh, archery, even for yours, so it's definitely good to have at times. Uh, weapon and shield, sword and board, that kind of thing. And two-handed weapons. And I think I'm going to go for a two-handed character this time, so... Uh, I will want a formal strike, which will uh, knock someone back. And knockdowns are always great. Great to have, absolutely great. Mighty Blow also does a lot of damage, so I will want that. Uh, no, actually, we'll want. I'll take the Pommel Strike and I'll take Powerful, because that's kind of a thing you need. Through training and hard work, the warrior has 
gain greater health and reduce the fatigue penalty of wearing armor. I'll not really go into that. Uh, I normally play on hard, as you can probably tell. I'll go on normal for this one, just uh, so I don't accidentally die and have to do everything over again. Everyone hates doing that. So yeah, fairly lengthy explanation on character generation and stuff, so kind of sorry about that, but hey, there's so much to tell on this game. Deep beneath the Frostback Mountains sits Ozamar, largest and proudest of the two remaining Dwarven cities. Once the seat of an underground empire, Orzammar now stands alone, cut off from the world by the Darkspawn, still clinging to the memory of its former glory. Below the vast statues and gilded halls where the noble families play at politics, the lower castes live in their shadows, scurrying to serve like their ancestors before them. Below that is you. You are castless, the dirty secret staining Orzammar's perfect society, forced, along with your sister, to sell your services to the crime lord Barat. To the rest of Orzammar, you are proof that the castless deserve their fate. But you know you do what you have to, the same as everyone, just to survive. I can't keep gambling on you forever, precious. You've got a sweet look, something to light a man on fire. But you gotta make it count. Please, Barat, can we not do this in front of my brother? Why not? He knows the slope of the land, don't you, boy? Yeah. So this is something you will be seeing a lot of. A lot. There's a lot of dialogue in this game and it's really, really good. In my opinion, anyway. So basically, you get to pick your decisions and depending on that, you can totally change the outcome of a, uh, a certain conversation and with that, change in the entire direction of things that are happening, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Well, I know, I know how the dwarf and cast stuff works, so won't let you down. No. Let's stand up for our sister. You told me a lot of things, not one of which meant more than a fart in the middens. Before me, your sister was just another duster. Now check her out. Rage down to here, gold cap teeth. She can recite elf poetry and play the string harp. Every man's dream. All she's got to do is find a lord, squeeze out some kid who looks like him, and we're all living the easy life in the diamond quarter. Please don't get involved. You know that never goes well. Well, fine. Also, the diamond quarter is, well, as you can probably tell from the name. The, the, where the royal palace is and uh, some really wealthy nobles so um yeah I don't like to see to see him treating you that way I'll treat her however I like as long as you both eat off my plate you keep your head down and say I to any job I decide is low enough for scum like you what an ass I put out coins so you can doll yourself up and get a belly full of some nobleman's brat then you both go free, and I get to join the family and be called my lord for the rest of the little prince's life. So that's a really disgusting plan. We've got our part of the deal. Well, sure. But let's ask what he's doing. Checking on my investments. And right now, they don't bear much gold. I'm giving you another week, Precious. If you haven't found a patron, you're back to sweeping streets. But I have. I've met someone. That is, I didn't want to promise, but he seemed interested. So yeah, get off her back and just pay, pay attention to me. Your buddy Lesky's waiting outside. He knows what I'll need from you today. Don't even think about bungling this job. Your whole family's on loose sand with me right now. And I know you don't have anywhere else to turn. I'm sorry you had to see that. 
Yeah, you don't have to hide anything from me, Rika. I know. You've always been a good brother. Always tried to protect me. I should have told you. Barat's been warning me ever since two of his other girls found patrons at Lord Harrowmont's reception. They've been getting gifts already. Lord Rooston gave Elsie a surface silk gown and she's not even pregnant. Barat's getting impatient. Yeah, I just wish we didn't have to kiss off to that cave tech. You know the other options. Cleaning middens, begging, going to the surface. Go to the no. surface. Unless you find a way to save us all from Darkspawn and become a paragon. We're pretty much on Barat's leash for life. Hmm. 